Okay, let's get started. Um, first of all, to make sure that we're all on the same page, let's get our stroke and fill settings uh, correct. Come over to the toolbar on the left side of your workspace at the very bottom. First things first, hit. make sure that you're using the default stroke and fill settings. That, so like just hover over this little teeny tiny icon and click on it. So you'll have a black stroke and a white fill to begin with. That's the typically the default. For drawing, I for what this exercise, we're going to not use a fill at first. So what I want you to do is hover over this white block, which is the fill color, and bring that white block forward. Okay, so the white block is forward and I can hit the red slash. Now what this is saying is I have a black stroke and no fill. And let me come over to the canvas here, and before I get started, just let me say a couple things. Um, in your career, you will do this. What we're doing is we're taking a low-res JPEG image, and we're going to make it into a vector image. So, for example, and this I guarantee this will happen, um, so this isn't just academic stuff. A client will give you an image, for example, like this lightning bolt, and he'll say, <clears throat> he or she will say, I want this on my business card. They'll give you a very low res, jagged edged, uh, pixelated image, and, you know, this is not going to work in print media at all. We can trace this, as I'm going to show you in Illustrator, make a vector, clean vector image, and we can put it on a business card, we can put it on a bulletin board. Uh, we can put it anywhere we want to, and it'll be smooth and uh, just a, a beautiful image. So anyway, the, that's the speech, that the stuff has practical purposes. The second thing before I get started, um, well, when we're tracing uh, an object, you'll be conscious of the curves, um, where they change curves change direction okay so like let's see here we have a curve here and it's going down 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 right about at this point it starts to curve in on itself so it starts to change direction and then it'll come down to here right around this point it'll curve up so this is really a pretty simple shape that we're going to outline and I'm going to show you in this I'm going to in this video I'm going to outline this artist palette shape and then in the next video, I'll show you how to do this cutout. I'm conscious that I'm going to do this pretty quickly, so you're going to have to like just stop the video and rewind and redo. You're not going to get, if you've never done this before, you're not going to get this correct the first time. Remember to Command Z or Control Z if you make a mistake, or just delete everything and start over. <clears throat> All right, so hit the pen tool, or pardon me, hit the letter P on the uh, keyboard. So there's our uh, pen icon. Let's start up here at the very, very top of this. Uh, we'll outline this guy first. Again, very slow and very deliberate. There is no need to hurry. If you hurry, it's it's gonna not go well for you. The very top, in this, pretty much in the center, click and hold, drag to the right. Okay, so as you'll see, like if your handle is like close to the artwork, it's definitely it's probably going to go better for you. So just take a look at the video. Um, get the handle about that length on that location. Let go. Again, I'm, my hand is off the mouse. Take a deep breath. There is no hurry. So let's look here. Okay, we're going this way, this way, this way. Right about here, the curve starts to curve in. So let's come, it's an artist's palette. It looks kind of like a human profile, though, doesn't it? Like, um, so come right about here, click and hold. Don't panic. Pull the handle straight down. Now what you're looking at is, do you, do you see the red line? Um, yours might be a different color, but that, what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm still clicking and holding and what I'm doing is like I'm moving this handle so that the red line is going to line up with the artwork as, as closely as possible. 
So that's pretty good, like right there. So I'm gonna let go. Now I'm gonna come in here. The best thing to do, and we can go back and edit this. Don't worry if this looks awful at first. Come like into the middle of this. This is where the, if it was a palette, this is where your thumb would go. Um, put it right smack dab in the middle there. Click and hold. Nobody panic. Drag it this way. Okay, so you see how nice and neat that conforms to the curve there? On one of these, I'm guessing one of these, the, the curve is going to get completely messed up and we'll have to come back and edit it, but don't worry about that. Okay, so, so far I have three points. Now I'm going to come to this end, this little curve here. It looks like a, <clears throat> to me it looks like a chin on a human profile. Right here at that point, click and hold nice and slow I'm dragging so that what I'm looking at is I'm making sure that this curve here conforms with the artwork that came out pretty that came out better than I expected actually okay let's go to the very very bottom of this click and hold dragging like straight across horizontally and again I'm looking I'm not gonna get this exactly perfect I'm gonna get it close so let me just get this and let me go back here so this part here isn't really perfect but I can come back and fix it that little space there I don't care about let's come to the uh, extreme left edge of the artist palette click and hold take your time pull straight up until the red line what I'm looking for is this red line to conform with the artwork here. Now this last chunk uh, is important. Okay, so like don't screw this up. Okay, so we have this nice curve going on. What we're going to do is hover over our first anchor point, and when you do, you'll get a little like circle next to your pen, meaning you're on top of an anchor point. Um, take your time with this. Okay, hover over the anchor point, click and hold. Don't let go because it'll mess up the curve. As you can see, it's really easy to do. It's really easy to mess stuff up. Clicking, holding, dragging straight across, and I'm looking at the left side, left upper side of the curve right here. So now I have this nice outline here. I said before that this chunk here wasn't perfect. Um, for the purpose of this exercise, if you get something this close, that's okay. Uh, but just let me enable the uh, direct select tool, the white arrow. Grab that anchor point and pull this handle out a little bit. And now it's pretty close here. And like you see this this little space here. Again, for this exercise, this is is good. It's acceptable. But I'm just going to like just show you I can grab this handle and, and pull it in a little bit and with some messing around here that's pretty close um, okay so here's the main thing I want with this exercise I have one two three four five six anchor points so see if you can get this in six anchor points if you go over eight anchor points that's too much um, the fewer the anchor points the smoother the curve the fewer the anchor points the smoother the curve so you want few anchor points as possible. So it has to be connected. Get six anchor points. Uh, don't go over eight anchor points. See if you can get this curve uh, to follow. And again, you're going to have to do this multiple times before you get it right. Don't be afraid to Command Z or Command A and just delete everything and start again. So good luck.